स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया welcome and in this small video we are going to talk about something called a convolution and smoothing convolution and smoothing okay what it means see essentially the point is this let's say that uh, i will start with uh, so basically uh, given any function i want to approximate the function smoothly you understand so given a bad function let's just call it a bad function a huh? bad function uh, can we approximate it can we approximate it with a smooth function is this clear see we already know that if you have a smooth function smooth functions are nice functions right so the question is this uh bad functions they may not work all the time yeah so let's say but you cannot throw it out also right so once you are given a bad function how do you deal with it so essentially what we do is we take a smooth function work out our properties and then i mean approximate the bad function with the help of smooth functions and see if things work or not okay so some notations what you are going to do is this so let omega subset of rn be open open and epsilon greater than 0 yeah you define u epsilon this is what we are defining it is a set of all those x in omega such that the distance between x and the boundary yeah this is greater than epsilon okay so essentially think of a ball of radius 1 radius 1 okay radius 1 so essentially if i am taking an epsilon choose a epsilon if i am writing the omega epsilon it will be the inside ball okay okay so that's your omega epsilon now i will put some definitions down so definition we define define a eta it's a smooth eta in c infinity r n okay by eta of x yeah this is a constant time exponential i will explain why this constant i am taking 1 by mod x square minus 1 okay this if mod x less than 1 and zero if mod x greater than equal 1 okay so essentially it's a very smooth function uh, which will die down um, so something like this huh? something like this the minus 1 plus 1 in order to one dimension let's just draw this thing it will be a very nice function huh? so forgive my drawing capability it will be a very smooth uh, round function huh? okay so it will look like something like this and in r2 you can think of this as a bowl kind of thing right inverted bowl right okay so and uh, this c what is so c c greater than 0 is chosen is chosen such that such that okay integral over rn eta of x dx that is 1 so we'll choose this c see c depends on r huh? we'll choose our c in such a way that the integral of eta over rn is 1 so this eta is a very special eta this eta is a radial function as you can see what is a radial function it's a function of r essentially yeah? so you look at this function on any un in any ball of radius r that is going to be a constant yeah okay so um, and we also and and uh, for for each epsilon positive okay set eta epsilon of x okay to be 1 by epsilon power n eta of x by 
epsilon okay so what we are going to do is we are going to use this radial function see first of all what we are starting out with is the smooth radial function c infinity function which looks like the exponential of 1 by mod x square minus 1 uh, you can understand that at as mod x tends towards 1 this is going towards 0 so essentially this goes towards minus infinity so essentially this goes towards 0 the exponential of this yeah, it goes towards 0 and this is always smooth you can just prove it it's not a problem and now what we are going to do is for every epsilon we are writing an eta epsilon which is just a scaled down version of eta we are just scaling it by epsilon eta of x by epsilon okay right once we do that this eta this eta is called the standard mollifier okay standard mollifier mollifier clear this is called a standard mollifier this eta epsilon and eta epsilon is in c infinity okay such that of course it is c infinity see eta is c infinity so eta epsilon is c infinity now there is nothing uh, special going on here right okay so eta is called a standard epsilon uh, mollifier eta epsilon is in c infinity and these are the properties of eta epsilon number one integral over rn eta epsilon of x dx that is 1 okay and number 2 of course it is 1 okay you can just take the integral this eta from 3 power n i mean the jacobian will be eta power n which will get cancelled and it will be integral of eta which is basically 1 so that is why this is 1 and the support of eta support of eta epsilon yeah so basically where eta epsilon the closure of the set where eta epsilon is non-zero that is containing b zero epsilon of course because uh, uh, um, I mean outside b 0 epsilon what is going to happen um, eta will be 0 so basically eta epsilon will be 0 outside epsilon radius ball so the support of eta epsilon is contained in b 0 epsilon what it essentially says is eta epsilon is non 0 in this b 0 epsilon ball and outside that it is 0 okay now we are going to define something called a mollifier mollification okay so essentially what we said that we want to approximate bad functions with a good function so let let f from omega to r is integrable is integrable okay so for now you can just think of this as a continuous function integrable function function okay now define define its mollification mollification okay as follows as follows f epsilon okay this is a mollification of f so so see you give me a continuous function what i am going to do is i am going to make it a smooth function how i am going to define a f epsilon which is given by eta epsilon okay this family of smooth functions convolution with f okay so this is defining omega epsilon yeah and how do uh, if you want to write it properly how do you write it it is given by integral over omega eta epsilon of x minus y f of y dy okay and again you can use a change of variable and you can show that this is equals to b0 epsilon okay eta epsilon of y f of x minus y dy okay please check this part that's your mollification yeah so again what i am doing eta epsilon is a family of uh, mollifiers which i made family of radial uh, this thing radial mollifiers okay it's a family of mollifiers eta is a standard mollifier and eta epsilon is a family of mollifiers which i constructed out of eta okay now what i am doing is i am constructing a new function f epsilon which is eta epsilon convolution f so i am using convolution and making a new function which is eta epsilon convolution f which is defined by this right so that's the definition of convolution and by change of variable you can also write it like this what we are claiming is this so this is for every x in omega epsilon right omega epsilon is outside the epsilon neighborhood right okay so the, the our claim is this claim is f epsilon okay this is in c infinity omega epsilon is it clear 
So f epsilon, which you are defining it like this, we are saying that it is infinitely differentiable. See, f is not infinitely differentiable. F is just an integrable function. I don't care. I mean, think of this as a continuous function. What it is saying is once you do this modification, once you convert it to the family of modifiers, then that function will turn out to be a infinitely differentiable function. Okay. Now, how to prove this thing? What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a hint and I think you guys can manage it from there. Okay. The hint is this. So let's say x is in omega epsilon, clear, okay, and therefore, hence, hence we can take x plus h e i, okay, this is in omega epsilon, I can take this, what is the omega epsilon, it is an open set, right, how is omega epsilon defined, if you remember, it is set of x in omega such that distance between x and the boundary is greater than epsilon, clear, okay, so it is inside uh, omega and it is an open set. So if it is an open set, there is a small wall which contains, uh, which is centered at x, x and um, contained in omega epsilon. So I have x plus h e i, I can take h sufficiently small such that this happens. What is e i? Where e i are unit vector in x i direction, in x i direction, right? So basically e i is a 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, clear? This is the i component, i component. And, and what is h? h sufficiently small. Why sufficiently small? Because I want my h to be small such that x plus h e i is contained in omega epsilon. That's all, okay? Right. So once this is happening, uh, I will show that the derivative of f, first, first derivative, first of all, exists, okay? So let's say f epsilon of x plus h e i e i minus f epsilon of x okay by h. Let's calculate this thing and see what happens. This is 1 by epsilon power n integral over omega 1 by h okay mm, eta of x plus h e i minus y by epsilon minus eta of x minus y by epsilon. I am just writing down the definition, nothing else. Huh? f of y dy. Clear? Yeah? Okay. Now, this is equals to 1 by epsilon power n. Okay. Integral over v. I am changing the integral over omega to integral over v. Okay. Please think about it. From h to v, I am changing. 1 by h eta of x plus h e i minus y by epsilon minus eta of x minus y by epsilon f of y dy. Clear? Okay. So once I do this thing, this is for some open set v contained in omega clear so as 1 by h eta of x plus h e i minus y by epsilon minus eta of x minus y by epsilon this converges to 1 by epsilon eta of x i x minus y by epsilon this is true okay see eta okay is a c infinity function so it is of course once continuously differentiable if that happens i'm just using the definition of derivative of eta nothing else yes the same thing is just the definition of derivative here okay uh, so please remember this is 1 by h, this is 1 by epsilon, yeah? okay, now once that happens, so this, this is uniformly, yeah? it converges uniformly on v, clear, it converges uniformly on v, okay, so therefore the partial derivative f epsilon of x i at the point x exists and is equals to and uh, is given by given by 
integral over omega eta epsilon xi okay of x minus y f of y dy okay now you do the similar argument similarly uh, you can check that d alpha of f epsilon of x this can be written as integral over omega d alpha of eta epsilon of x minus y f of y dy okay this is for x in omega epsilon and this holds for all multi index uh, mod alpha okay and so the thing is u um, f epsilon is infinity differentiable okay